I'm gonna fill. I'm gonna fill his typewriter with fingers. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, JK keeps sticking. I don't know why. <laughs> Bristling with fingers. <laughs> I kind of wish that I could open the safe. Fingers would just start pouring out of it. <laughs> Coat your finger in lubricant and tell the patient that you will be inserting your finger in his rectum and that it will be cool. Because <laughs> it's like totally normal. I like how he's just got a bunch lined up right in front of him. <laughs> he's he afraid his been. fingers might give out, so he's got That's, a couple of replacements well, just actually, in case. Those are the ones that have fallen off. <laughs> He just keeps grabbing these ones off the floor and throwing them on his hands. Anyway, let's get a freaking mission, right? There's another contract ready, and it pays well, my friend. Ready to get after it? Yeah, man, I'm totally ready. No. I don't think we're cut out for bounty hunting. Yeah, I mean, we can't do bounty hunting anymore. We're just not cut out for it. We've become... What's the word when you don't want to fight anymore? Pacifists. I was thinking coward, but that works too. <laughs> Folks have been disappearing on the road south to the Mojave Outpost. For the longest time, people attributed it to the Rad Scorpions, but our client is beginning to suspect human involvement. Several of the missing wastelanders mentioned their search for a reputed oasis in the Mojave, mm. which is pure horseshit. In all likelihood, these are probably just natural casualties of the wasteland. Regardless, our client wants results. Good luck. So he said that they're going missing south toward NCR territory? Yeah, like over that way. Yeah, scorpions. That could be a problem. Although I'm thinking maybe it's the horde of raiders. That might be a suspect as well. I'm surprised he didn't mention them. Right, right. But what you didn't hear him say was it's probably nothing and people just dying due to the wasteland. So my idea, we go get a drink and then come back and say we investigated it and we didn't find anything. I, and then we still get paid, but we didn't have to do any work. Well, we don't get... Are we getting paid hourly or are we getting paid salary? Oh, God, do you know what? I don't know. I haven't even thought about asking him. Are we getting paid same or is this a 60-40 split? Is he taking a cut? You have reached the voicemail box of Randall and Associates. Please leave a message after the beep. Randall, we're a little concerned that maybe you're taking a significant cut. We don't know how much these bounties are actually worth. We're sure you're taking some overhead, but we... Look, we need to talk about the division of funds here, because clearly we're doing all the work and you're not doing a whole lot. Now, I'm not a good businessman. I'm not a good man in general. Hello, Steve and Randall. This is Emma Watson with the Followers of the Apocalypse. We have your hemorrhoid cream. It's ready to be picked up. And again, we must reiterate, it is probably best for your health if you do not keep shoving fingers up your butt. Or at least shove fewer of them. The human rectum was just not designed to hold that many fingers, I'm sorry. One or two at most. But I digress. Yes, your hemorrhoid prescription is ready to be picked up at your convenience. Thank you. We want a sponsorship deal with Twix. Work that out. No. Call us back. Call, yeah. Don't listen to Mike. Call us back. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's check this out. Mago's Bunker. Who's Mago? Mago. Mago? 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 Is it pronounced Mago or Mago? What does Mago mean in Spanish? That, that's, not a, that's not a Spanish word. It's not? It sounds like a Spanish word. Yeah, it's not. Del Mago. You've discovered a strange bunker filled with food and numerous amenities. A strange departure from the hostility of the wastes. You catch the scent of Brahmin steak, apparently fresh off the grill. As your appetite surges, you hear the distinctive crackle of an intercom down the steps. I heard a distinctive crackle of an intercom down the steps. We As should... did I. I heard a distinctive crackle of an intercom down the steps. Perhaps we should investigate. Yes, I would second that notion. Let us go investigate that crackle. Hello, traveler. Hi. Hello. Welcome to my humble abode. Please help yourself to the food. You must be famished. I'm a little peckish. I could eat. Who are you? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Dr. Mago, at your service. What does that mean in Spanish? Also, why are you doing this, and isn't it reckless to invite strangers into your home? Yeah. I'm doing this because I've suffered the unforgiving trials of the waste. I have felt terrible, crippling hunger that pushes a man beyond reason. I discovered this shelter in one of my countless peregrinations. And, in the course of time, I've set out to create an oasis of philanthropy. Did he lock the door behind us? Please, enjoy a hot meal. It's the least I can do. Oh, okay. Well, let's go have some food, I guess. I don't trust this. Hope, Vincent, would you like to eat? Oh, that's right, you can't, because you're robots now. 
Oh, dang. That's which, a Brahmin steak. Which is good because it looks like he only set two plates for us. Yeah, they're really. it's really only Hey, that one guy. was my steak. I saw that. I didn't take it. It disappeared. Uh, it vanished. It got up and ran away. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey. Well, we're done eating. Uh, we've, the... we've had our fill of food and Brahmin steak and whatever else. And, and by that, I mean Zach ate all of it because he's a freaking pig. I did not eat all of it. Oh, how much did I eat again? Oh, that's none because you ate it all off the plate. You had plenty of food yourself. There were 20 Nuka Cola. Little pig, table. little pig. Why don't you go to market? Wee, 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 wee. You're a gracious host, but I must be going now. You've been an exceedingly amicable guest, but I'm afraid I cannot meet your request. I have other plans, you see. Despite the din of the intercom, I'm able to make out a peculiar noise overhead. As I look up, I become lightheaded and feel overwhelmed with a warm, relaxing sensation. Oh boy, I sure do feel relaxed and not panicked like I'm acting right now. Ah, you were awake. You're even more vigorous than I had anticipated. Very good. Mike is gonna cut your goddamn heart out. I, wait, I am? Yeah, Mike is totally gonna fuck you up. All Mike's right. the strong one. He's the one that has all the money and the guns. And you should totally hate Mike and not me. I'll be in the back of the cell if you want to kill Mike instead of me. Well, hold on. Just please, another five precious seconds of life. <laughs> kill him first. I'm afraid this is the end of the line, my friend. It's a matter of survival, really. What can I say? The Wasteland really brings out that war of all against all quality. You're a cannibal, aren't you? You've been in luring people in and murdering them. Well, you possess copacetic powers of observation. I've always said that. Yes, I'm a cannibal and a long-lived one, thank you. I'm rather proud of that fact. No matter what happens, you'll get what's coming to you. I've been capturing and eating preachy fools like you for decades. What makes you think you're any different? Help me look around and find some stuff that I can use. Sure. By the way, you're naked. I'm a naked? Why am I naked and you guys are all still <laughs> close? You still have guns! <laughs> Why don't you just shoot him? You're gonna need a stim pack for that one. Oh! Well, oh, Hope's outside of the cell. I'm just gonna let Hope handle this. <laughs> Thank you, Hope. Oh, God. All right, let's find a way out of here. All right, I got a bobby pin. Where's my pants? Where's my pants? Where's my pants? I guess you gotta start over from scratch, so take his surgeon outfit, put that on. Well, Wasteland surgeon outfit, here we come. I guess you're a doctor now. <laughs> oh yeah, that's, uh, that's something. He really did enjoy his cannibalism. Don't you just hate it when people pick one aspect of their life and define themselves by it? Yeah. He was a cannibal, maybe he had other traits about him. Maybe he, obviously he liked fine whiskey. See, That's that, something. Okay, good. He wasn't just a blind cannibal. He was an alcoholic cannibal. We we're learning a little That's bit more. That's not entirely true. He has many different brands of whiskey down here. Look, this one's a 20-year scotch. I'll take that one. Uh, I, I don't think you should be taking that. You're kind of a recovering alcoholic yourself. Just a little sip isn't going to hurt. That's what they all say. Uh, come on, just a little sip isn't going to hurt. You said that last time, then you woke up naked outside Good Springs Saloon. And I don't think Trudy ever forgave you for what happened that night. No, she didn't. But, I mean, just, it's it's not, it'll be fine. One... Who are you trying to convince, me or you? One little drink is going to be fine. It's not like I'm going to wake up naked or anything. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> yes. It's not your first time waking up in the middle of the desert naked. I am not happy about being naked. I'm never happy about being... Whoa! whoa, whoa. Hey, whoa! I think I found out where Mad the... Mike? <laughs> Who the hell is Mad Mike? It's this guy again. You don't remember him? Mad no. Mike? <laughs> well, he's dead. Did you find out who's behind the disappearances? A kidnapping cannibal! A kidnapping cannibal, you say? Shit, that's a surprise. Most of the cannibals around here have been put out of business by the NCR. Anyway, here's your reward. Excellent work. Earlier, you described ghouls as zombies. You know that's offensive, right? Come on, man. Get with the PC culture. Yeah. That's not offensive. Someone putting a 12-gauge up your ass and pulling the trigger... Now that's offensive. That's true. I once saw a zombie do that to one of my friends, so it left a strong impression. Don't get me wrong, I've met some square ghouls like Doc Friday and... Well, let, let me think. I, I'm sure there are others. I'll get back to that. Anyway, the incident I'm referencing happened over ten years ago. Me and my partner James were tracking a bounty in New Mexico. We were unfamiliar with the territory... And eventually, some ghouls got the jump on us. I was wounded, and James was green, so it went bad. They were a collection of ghoul fanatics from some reservation. 
and they took us captive after the firefight. Their leader was a ghoul named Phillips. Ray Phillips, that's it. I think he had relatives back east. Anyway, old Ray took special pride in making us smooth skin suffer. I don't think we solicited this story, Stephen. Yeah, you're kind of just going off on a... Ray was going to cut him in half, but James called him a zombie cunt. Ray didn't appreciate the label, so he responded by shoving his shotgun into James and pulling the trigger. That sounds... Now, how I got away is an interesting story since... Six hours later. God damn it, look at the time. I've got to finish this typing, and you've got me distracted. This next contract has some significant risks, but a hefty payday to match it. Your target is a gunslinger known simply as Jack. Jack used to be the chief gunman for Heck Gunderson and managed the muscle in Gunderson's operations. Go find this guy. Don't even talk to him. Just shoot him. How do we even know if we found the right guy? Wheat grain is actually incredibly flammable. That's why corn silos the... What? You, the... Saw, you saw that, right? Yeah, what was that? The solar flare? Maybe some kind of paranormal activity well, it's occurred. the direction we're going. I don't know if we're going to figure out what caused it, but that was that was a thing, all right. That was definitely a thing. Anyway, oh, is that Jack? You should approach with caution. I can only assume that's Jack. Everyone have your guns at the ready. At, except... Should I just try to kill him now? Wait. Well, if it isn't the courier turned bounty hunter. I hear you're making quite a mark in the Mojave. I think Randall and Associates are trash. In fact, every bounty hunter they've sent after me has been trash. And that pretty much makes you trash, as well. I don't care that you called me trash, because I think of myself as trash, so whatever. You may have been able to take on every bounty hunter that was sent at you before, but have you been able to take on four at once? I don't know about that. I don't think you can take on four at once, so fuck you, shit kicker! Make your move, then. Had enough? You dirty coward! Oh no! Zach. No, I didn't mean to do that! <laughs> no. Put your gun away! Put your gun away! Put your gun away! Holster your weapon! Nope, nope, you've made the entire town hostile. Mike, we probably need to rewind time. Alright, let me just finish killing this guy. Ow! Bitch! <laughs> well, Jack, it was nice meeting you, and you're an asshole. I think I look pretty spiffy. What about you? Yeah, you look nice in Jack's outfit. It's not bad. And I don't think it offers much in terms of damage protection, but... Oh, no, it's, it offers literally nothing in terms of damage protection. I'm better off naked. I don't know if that's true. It actually has negative damage protection. <laughs> it's got a negative damage threshold? Yeah. Every time an enemy shoots you while you're wearing that, they get healed. Um, bye! bye. There goes Rusty again. See ya. Bye, Rusty! I don't think Rusty caused that solar flare. But it wouldn't surprise me if he did. Yeah. It doesn't heal the enemy, but what it does is, uh, it actually makes bullets go faster <laughs> and have more mass when they hit me. It's a magnetic pull on all bullets? Yeah. <laughs> it increases their speed at the moment before impact. <laughs> I don't think red is a bad color, though. How do you feel about red? Red's a nice color, but it also depends on what shade of red. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, what is happening? Okay. So, there's gotta be something going on over there. Alright, pause, let's go check that out. Okay, Whatever. yeah, let's go see what's happening. Looks like something's happening at that makeshift radio station trailer. No, oh, I'm running out of shotgun shells. You've been killing too many innocent people. Apparently so. God! What is happening over here? Why, well, it just be nothing. It probably is nothing and the game's just freaking the hell out. What is this?! I'm done. I'm done with this. I'm done with it. I'm done with it. I'm not I, sure what that was. We can't figure out what this what this is. It's just a weird glitch that is causing nuclear explosions in the sky, and also, my God, that is not normal. <laughs> I have never seen a body stretch into infinity that far. I've seen this before. You've seen this before. I know, but I've never seen it stretch this far. It's pretty far. All right, we're gonna enter hyperspace. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had a blood donation or a plasma donation? No, I haven't. I must tell you, plasma donation is a very fun experience because they take out your blood, then they take out the plasma from the blood, then they mix the anticoagulant back in with your blood, but the anticoagulant has all been refrigerated, 
So they're putting cold blood back in you. Refrigerator temperature blood. Oh, it's so weird. And that cold blood starts to course through your veins at one point. That sounds really cool just purely for the fact that I've never had anything like that happen before. And I like experiencing new things. That's how you live a full and rich life and make every day seem much longer. Is do something you've never done before every day. And I realize that is a lot easier said than done. What have you done today that you haven't done other days? Uh, nothing. That's <laughs> what I meant. It's a lot easier said than done. Did you kill Jack yet? Yes. Yes, we killed Jack. I'm a little surprised to see you unscathed. Good work. Yeah, because I shot first and didn't ask any questions. After after he killed us the first time. Uh, he did not kill us. The villagers killed us. Oh, that's right. We did have a casualty that we had to undo. You're well aware of our time rewinding abilities. We've done it in front of you multiple times. Yes. In fact, if we wanted to, we could probably rewind time all the way back and unkill your family, give you back your face. But we're just kind of lazy, so we're not going to do that. Yeah, anymore. that's a little bit too far. Yeah. We're not going to bother. Anyway. I'm sure you understand. Uh, yeah, you understand. Next mission, please. 